If there's one thing we all hate in Scrum Mechanic, it's got to be the farming. From early on, when you try to find the perfect place so that you can start your farm, you usually end up finding yourself near water so that you're able to plant your soil, plant your crops, and throw buckets of water onto your crops. That's usually how we all get started. Eventually, later on, we start to get a little bit more creative, trying to come up with different ways and means that we can start to produce crops in a vast quantity. We end up with some sort of machinery. Sometimes it's run on pistons and controllers. Sometimes it's something similar to this, where it will just be running up and down. But these machines themselves have their own unique problems, depending on the land that's around them. Well, I might have just the solution for you. This is what I am coining the scorpion. This scorpion is magic. It will plant, it will water, it will harvest, and when it doesn't find any soil that needs anything doing to it, it will return to a point that you tell it to return to. All of this is 100% automated. All you have to do is turn it on. The rest can be left to its own devices. This machine will not be tripped up by the change in the landscape. If it's got to go uphill or downhill to get to the soil that needs to be planted, it can manage this. All you have to do for this is plant some soil down and the machine will do the rest. As long as you feed those teleport pipes with water and seeds, this machine will go detect the soil that you've placed and it will go and plant a crop. It will go and water the crop. And when that crop is ready, it will harvest the crop too. It will switch through all of these processes automatically. So once you've turned it on, you really don't have to do anything at all. Most people will be using pump jacks and you can also use a filter at the chest or in a vacuum pump so that when it harvests it can send all that stuff to one chest and then it can recall the seeds from that exact same chest this entire thing can be fully autonomous and if you use a chunk loader you could potentially just drop a chunk loader in here as long as you've got a way to defend it you'll be good for life i have set this machine up to be harvest priority so what it'll do is it'll harvest everything first before it starts planting cycle people like to get their crops harvested pretty quick so that's what the main intention of this thing is it will harvest everything and then once there is nothing left to harvest then it will start to plant then it will water and then it will realize there's nothing else to do so it'll go recall itself back to its little place and wait for the harvest to activate this entire build is only possible due to the fat mod which gives us a lot of different units that will help detect various different states of plants and soil and stuff as well as giving us those vital teleportation pipes that will enable us to send resources from miles away onto the drone itself i will throw a build video up soon just took a lot of time trying to get this to where it is hope you appreciate it i hope you like this short little video take it easy and i'll catch you guys next time bye everybody